Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys' is Monday was good. All right, so I'll just jump right into the news right here. So uh, EA Access uh, promo starts today on the Xbox One. And like I said, the games I really wanted to try is going to be Dragon Age Inquisition and it's going to be uh, Battlefield 4. Those are the two I really want to try. Maybe Roy McIlroy PGA Tour. I believe that one's on there, but they have a picture of it, but I don't think it's actually on there. Yeah, they don't have that game on there. Never mind. Regardless. I almost forgot about this even was going to happen today. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try this on Xbox One, let you guys know what I think of EA Access. And so, I mean, there's that, really, to be honest. So, yeah, if you guys have an Xbox One, go ahead and uh, get EA Access, get the trial going, call it good. All right, so the Xbox One is going to be having an update today. Or not, up, not today, an upcoming Xbox One update, I should say. It's going to be party improvements and new features so now you can see who's in a party chat before joining and it's planning to like correct this you know like say you don't like the person in the party then you won't join but if you join the party and you don't like the person you kind of look like an idiot for joining the party and just leaving whatever maybe that's why they were complaining i'm not sure and they're also brought a new gamer score leaderboard option it'll give you a better idea on how good your gamer score is compared to xbox live friends so it kind of stacks you up against everybody and there's a snippet on here of it. It's gonna also highlight the biggest gamer store gains over the last 30 days. So if I mean if you're if you like tracking your gamer score, this is gonna be like a good feature for you guys, I guess. I don't really care about my gamer score at all, but whatever. And they're also tweaking home and pin selections of the Xbox One dashboard. Now you can rearrange individual pins all over the place, and they're making pins accessible when you're offline, so that uh, you know you can just use pins when you're offline. I guess I don't know. So yeah, I mean, the other improvements are minor, basically. The activity feed will prompt you when there's a new item to view on Windows Xbox app for Windows 10. Again, uh, hubs are being updated to make it easier for who's broadcasting on Twitch, and you'll be able to hide games from the ready-to-install list. So I mean, there's that. Who cares? So yeah, I mean, cool updates really, but it's not. I wouldn't say this is a major update, but it's a cool, cool feature update, I guess. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about today. So apparently the price of the PlayStation VR was leaked um, on a Swiss website called Brock, Brack.ch. And it's gonna be ranged, you know, uh, it's on three websites, 400 to $500, with priced around 450 to 500 euros, so around three, 435 to 544 dollars in American dollars. And it's basically in line with already what experts estimated for the cost of this. So Andrew House stated that this is going to cost as much as a new gaming platform, if you guys weren't aware. He says, VR rewrite, rewrites the rule book and how you can create games. You're going to get a large amount of interest and in work happening among smaller teams because it's possible to create something in VR that's very simple but still very magical. So I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the cost. I mean, the one sitting at five hundred dollars, the other one's at some five hundred and fifty-two, not dollars, but whatever. Then five hundred and forty-one euros, I guess, is what I'm just gonna call it. I don't know if it's euros or not. Swiss money. I don't know what Swiss money's called. And there's, say, Sony said they have over two hundred games in development or a hundred, whatever it was. And yeah. Let's just talk about price here for a second. If you guys weren't aware, the Oculus Rift is six hundred dollars. All right, I think Sony was initially at four hundred dollars for this. Then they saw the Oculus Rift sell out like for six hundred dollar price tag. Then they're like, "Oh, well, we can make an, an extra hundred dollars." All right, so you pretty much screw your fan base because you want to make more money. You want to get money now, like right away. And no, all right. So here's my thought with Sony. Why can't they charge or yeah charge less for the VR headset? Get it into more homes. You'd get more games in development for it. People would use it more. I mean, you might not make money right away, but you'd make money in the future. Remember with the PS3, how oh, they lost money for years, and they finally recoup like with the money, and then they finally got some. I, it blows my mind why they're not doing that. I mean, to me, this personally looks like Sony's just getting really greedy with the consumers. And they think everyone's just going to eat this right up when it comes out. I'm not. I'm for one not going to do that now with the $500 price mark if that's going to be the case. 
I mean, I'm not paying more for an accessory than I am in the console itself. So, I mean, pretty much if I were to buy the PS4 with just the VR headset, if I didn't get the PS4 yet, I'd be in I'd be in this $900 without any games. You got to tag on a couple games already in it, almost probably $1,100 with games and like tax and all that crap. So, I don't know how Sony expect, expects this to do well. I don't see it doing well now with this whole price point going on. So, I, this might be dead on arrival. It might not. I don't know. People can't be this stupid to pi pay, say, $500 for this thing. It's only $100 cheaper than the Oculus Rift. And you have to use the move controllers. At least the Oculus Rift has, like, a, what is that called? Like, touch? Touch things. I don't know what they're called. Touch Rift or something. But, I mean, the three websites confirmed it around the same price. It's going to be somewhere around there. I mean, I don't see it changing dramatically. They didn't really confirm it, but it kind of leaked it, I guess. But it says here that Swiss websites could serve as an estimate. A placeholder prices, companies compare, uh, pre prepare for, for, for pre-orders. But yeah, what do you guys think? How much would you guys pay for the PlayStation VR? And like, what do you guys think on that? $500? Is that too much? Or is that too little even? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's, you guys don't think it's enough. Personally, I'm not going to buy it right away. I might not buy it at all now. This, this killed VR for me, honestly. I mean, it's, it'd be a cool feature, but what I've read and things I've heard that people have tried out the VR, they did it for a couple times, and then they kind of threw it in their closet, and they're like, yeah, it was cool for a couple times, and then it kind of got boring. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say. So, yeah, that's really all I want to talk about in this video. Make sure to like this video, comment, rate, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.